That's a heck of a way to end a 16, 16 game homerless streak against this team out here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously a huge, huge at bat um, and a lot of great at bats in front of them. Volpe starting it off with the walk, Verdugo with a walk, Glaber with the base hit, another walk to Soto, setting the table. And that's how you got to do it. You know, you, you, you dig a little hole, you got the deficit. Uh, you just kind of, kind of grind your way back in, and and hope you, hope you hit the money ball with some runners on, and and uh, the captain sure did. Going back to that Verdugo at bat, he was down yeah. 0-2. So just specifically that at bat, I know there were quality at bats the whole seventh inning, but that specific one. Yeah, it was big. Um, you know, he, he's he's been having good at bats here for a few weeks now, um, and and that in the moment, you know, especially ahead of what Aaron did was was one of the big ones in that inning. And what about, what did you think about Clark's start? I thought he was great. Uh, Might have ran out, you know. Um, uh, O'Neal hit, hit that ball pretty good, and, and, and I think he, he probably missed over the heart of the plate with some cutters to him, um, back-to-back pitches, and then obviously Yoshida got him. So, um, you know, we're short down there, and – um today and and i i just so i wanted to get him through there if i could um even though you know i was really excited that he was so a pitch, pitch efficient and i wasn't going to really go over 80 85 with him um to get through five but then you know he was so efficient going through that sixth uh with us being short down there um was hoping he could get through there and, and made a mistake to to yoshida but on balance he was excellent have these last three games been like a primer for October for you? I think a little bit. You know, Jazz came up to me, uh, you know, after after Judge hit that, hit the homer, and just to see our dugout erupt, to see Yankee Stadium erupt, um, you know, and he was he was like, this is pretty sick. And uh, so that was one of those really cool regular season moments you get at Yankee Stadium and you know, we got to keep going and, and hopefully we can get into the dance here in, in a few weeks. But um, just uh, really proud of the grind that these guys had tonight. You know, we were getting shut down. I thought we had a lot of good at bats and we had opportunities and we we're close to, you know, really breaking through, but didn't credit to them. Um, but they kept at it. I think so. It, it felt it felt that way from the start tonight. It, it felt a little bigger, you know. You and 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 there's those games every now and then throughout the season, throughout the summer, like you walk out there on a Friday night, big opponent. Like um, it felt that way a little bit from jump. I thought tonight, energy wise. Brendan, to the right. Is that the loudest you've heard the stadium this year, particularly during Aaron's at bat? Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that. I. I I mean, I mean, it, it felt it felt pretty, pretty turned up, as the kids like to say. <laughs> and and just what did you think of Fitz? He he was someone that was in your organization for a while. Yeah, you know, we we had him on the ropes there in the first inning. A um, lot of good at bats. Patient with him. I thought Jazz had a good at bat. Just missed the ball there. Um, and then he was, he was, you know, he was effective out of the zone enough. You know, he didn't make mistakes in the heart where he could get hurt. So we were, we had a beat on him, I felt like, a lot of the night. And we're getting into deep counts and creating traffic. But he never did, you know, pull down the heater at all or, or hang the breaking ball or the splitter. Um, so he made enough pitches, even though he walked the line a, a handful of times to – to do what he did and shut us down. Chris. I know you said it's going to be kind of by committee Mm -hmm. the end of the game, but is Weaver making a case to maybe be the closer down the road? I I, I like Weave in in probably as big a spot as any. That may be the seventh inning on a given day. You know, the game may be in the balance then, maybe in the eighth. I honestly didn't think I was getting to the finish line with him tonight, frankly. I brought him in in the eighth because we were short in the pen tonight. I was staying away still from a couple of guys, a couple of guys on back-to-backs. Um, 
And I was just like, we'll figure it out. If he's efficient in the eighth and Rafael was his last hitter, I was going to Tim Hill next, next batter. So I was a little uncomfortable as far as he had gone already as much as he pitched lately. Um, but, um, you know, he's, he's been outstanding and, and, um, we'll call, uh, I'm co obviously comfortable with him in any situation. Peter. Aaron, you know, I know you talked about the importance of Glaber's uh, RBI single ahead of the Grand Slam, but what happened in that play in the top of the six where he didn't even make a take a step to his left? Did he think Rizzo's getting that ball? Or Yeah, yeah, so he had just slid over a little bit to his right. It's one of those in-between balls, but he's got a fire for it because there's nowhere for him to not be. You know, if it's one of those, if, if Riz decides to go get it and it's kind of an in-between there, I think it's probably getting through anyway, but looking back on it on the on the high home. But regardless, he's got a fire for it. And and he just I don't think he got a great read on it, especially moving over to the right and then just, you know, kind of shut it down. And, and but he's got a fire there. Anyone else? Uh, Jorge, Randy. Aaron, obviously last night Aaron hit the ball hard three times I think it was and yeah um but do you think this is weighing on him at all that the, that the results weren't quite there no and and with the uh I don't that at bat with Juan Soto uh the, that walk the four pitch walk it seemed like the there was like anticipation for a moment did you did you sense that something big was about to happen the stadium was getting louder and louder and louder um I, I don't know you know we're I, I was I was kind of talking with with Brad and 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 Blake like hey if we if we tie this or or take a lead here let's get weave going right now and the next thing I know Aaron's going deep so um I was kind of I mean I was locked in to obviously Aaron's at bat but I was also doing some other things so I wasn't really I knew it was loud but I wasn't paying attention to that really Randy I was going to ask you if it was weighing on him too. I saw say, is it, you think it was a sense of relief where people were talking about it, fans, media. The, uh, you think it to get that over with? Now he doesn't have to deal with that that at all. Nope. You 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 you've been covering Aaron Judge for a long time now, pretty much his whole career. Like he's going to go through this again in another few weeks at some point next year or whenever, and he'll be fine. Like that's who he is. He's he's as good as I've ever seen it dealing with all that is the season, the the ups and downs of it. The he doesn't get on the roller coaster ride. He's obviously incredibly confident, but no, I don't worry about him at all. Brendan, is that rare in a player to not get on the roller coaster ride? To not, I mean, just I mean, there's, the players there's, just manage. I, no, I don't think it's rare. Um, I think some guys are better at it than others. Some guys are great at it. Some guys are good at it. Some guys are great players that have a lot of confidence that know, like, um, and, and other guys it's a struggle for. And, and other guys that get on that, you know, the game swallows them up a little bit. I mean, that's part of being here is dealing with failure and dealing with struggles and dealing with highs and lows in 162 games. How do you handle that? That's, that's a separator. 